Welcome. Welcome back, my friends. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Come inside. Come inside. Yes. Welcome back to Scoreboard Minnesota, where we appeal to the sports room in you and yours. Stop all the presses. Hold back the Red River. Get out the sandbags. It is time for a little Minnesota sports trivia. Harry, my superstar friend, we were talking about gopher football before our break. Okay, superstar racker, massive brain for this one. Can you tell me when the Minnesota Gophers played their first official football game? I will repeat myself. There is a Minnesota Gopher football program. Mercury. Mercury. Hmm. In reality, the University of Minnesota has had, and I emphasize the word, had, a much storied and history laden college program. Ah. But. I have no idea. Harry, make the best educated guess that you can think of. Come on. I really have no good idea on this one. This is just an extremely wild guess, Bostic. I will say. Hmm, how about 1904? Oh, ye king of great rodent breath and bright yellow teeth, you are wrong. The Minnesota Gophers played their first football game on September 29, 1882. The Minnesota Gophers have one of the oldest programs in the country. Bostwick. That makes me deeply sad because there used to be a Gophers football dynasty. They have been irrelevant since 1961 and 1962 when they went to the Rose Bowl. The last game of any importance they won was the 1962 Rose Bowl against the UCLA Bruins by a score of 21-3. to But Bostwick... In the last half a century the Gophers have been the dregs of the universe and every sport that matters. Yes. Yes Harry. I agree with you. You bet your sweet but be superstar, and a big you betcha. But, I do love the campus feel, and the college environment, that will be created by the new TCF Bank Stadium. But you are right Harry, and I'm speaking as a true Minnesotan here, the Gophers are complete downers. Complete shot through and through losers. As for any hope or aspirations of winning a NCAA national championship. Forget about it. This reminds me of where our conversation was headed before we had to have a station break. It is a question of who is a true Minnesota native? Bostwick. Are you a true tie-dyed Minnesota native? Superstar. I have lived here in Minnesota for over 20 years. Yeah. But you have not suffered long enough. It takes a lot longer to become a native Minnesotan. You are just a young pup. And you still are not one of us. But Superstar I do bring hot dishes to all family and corporate gatherings. And I say goodbye at least three times before I leave any and all gatherings and meetings. You may count them three times. And, anyways Harry, I do not wish to become part of any so-called club that you belong to. Any club that would accept you as a member, count me out. And therefore, Harry, I will stay who I already am. For I'm what I am, because I is what I is. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, aren't we special? Bostwick, do not get all high and mighty on me now. I am trying to put the facts straight. To be logical and put all the purple jersey ducks in a row. To be a true, native, Minnesotan Bostwick, you must have suffered through four losses for the Vikings and all four Super Bowls that they have made it to. And you must have gnashed your teeth on the 1965 Minnesota Twins who lost the 1965 World Series to an inferior Los Angeles Dodgers team. Also, Bostwick, you need to have endured what we have been calling Minnesota Twins, fun, duh, mental, baseball. And to top it all off Bosty, you would have had to embrace something labeled, Minnesota, Viking, Purple. Pride football. But Harry, but superstar, 
I have lived here since I was in high school. Doesn't that count for anything? No. Not good enough, my fledgling friend. You were still an outsider and an untrustworthy alien. Bostwick, you do not have the full makeup of Minnesotan genes. Your DNA is lacking the full angst that we have all suffered from for so very long. Anyway, Bostwick, we are a forgiving clan. We will continue to let you be a Minnesota sports group. That is a factoid. A worldwide given. We let anybody in. The standards are low. We will let you into our all-inclusive club because you do seem to really care about our Minnesota teams. Superstar, oh, superstar. I care deeply. I really do care, man. I'm profoundly offended by your lack of trust in me, my muscle-bound, purple-veined common man. On that flustering and festering note, Harry, do you want me to give the fans out there the scores from yesterday's games? They have been very patient with our little show up until now. Bostwick. Bostwick. Do we have fans who would watch us? A bunch of leaping gnomes. I say spill the wine and take that girl. Oh, what has come over me? I made a Bostwickism. What the? Maybe there are fans out there who are more sports, rubes, than we are. If they can put up with this show and keep being faithfully viewers, then, by my definition they are bigger and better Minnesota sports nerds than we are. Superstar I'm not sure who watches or listens to us. But we do have an important function, I think. Anyway, Harry, do you want me to read the sports scores now? No. Why are we always about sports? Is our whole life wrapped up in sports? Is it all just sports? Sports. Sports. Sports all day. Every day. And all night. 24 hours a day. Sports until our dying bed. Womb to tomb. Do we ignore all that is important in life to indulge our desires in sports? Are we sports fanatics? Do we live vicariously through our sports heroes? You see that, we, cannot perform their great feats of power and speed, and agility. Do we place them on unearned pedestals that they have not earned nor even want to stand on? Those are mighty good questions, Superstar. Are we just sports rats sucked into advertising and a corporate-led consumerism that epitomizes sports as its vehicle? Does this make us blind to our existential plight? And beside that we never win. Surely, Harry, you exaggerate a bit? Realistically, Bostwick. My Minnesota teams never even put up a good fight. Really, Harry, the Twins have won a few championships. Those Twins teams were dome teams. Synthetic teams. Not real teams. No, Bostwick, I am being honest and truthful here. I have never spoken more of the 110% truth in my whole life. You see, if the truth be known, I live in flyover country. Yes. Yes. Flyover country. And my teams are leftovers, minor leaguers and triple-A tryout stops for the real teams on the East and West Coast. We have nice little teams with guy players. We play the game the way it was meant to be played. We follow the rules of sportsmanship while others cheat and fudge over the ethical lines and they win multitudes of championship. We sit here with our nice small market teams for what? I ask you to what end? We are all in the same boat. We do have teams that make the playoffs and oh are we then proud of our Minnesota Nice players. Minnesota Nice is not all that it is cracked up to be. And then what happens? They get murdered again and again by the big market teams who are more talented, have gold line pockets, are harder hitting teams, and the list goes on and on. I feel like I am living the Groundhog Day movie over and over again. It is deja vu all over again. We do seem to be so much fodder for the big market teams. The big markets on the two coasts just feast on us for a snack before breakfast. We are like a little lamb who they stake out for a sacrificial meal to be fed to the fierce and wild lion. They need someone to beat up on and it is us. We are like the mild and meek slave that must battle the big, armored Roman gladiator. One big thump. 
and we are done. It makes the blood boil deep in my Minnesota heart of hearts. I say, no muzz. No muzz. I am done with all sports. That is forever. Wow, superstar. Now, I find that hard to believe. I ask the viewers out there, have the bright lights of Broadway superstar Harry Johnson dimmed solo? Is the sky falling? You know what that sound means? It is again time for a much needed break. I hope we can recoup ourselves before we all return. You all come back now. Remember, Scoreboard Minnesota is just one half a tick west of your dial.